Well, everybody, I'm back. Been a couple of weeks. Um, <clears throat> I'm at uh, one of our members' uh, Enderman farm here in the Nether, and uh, just trying to do a little repairing. Excuse me, I had to cough there. But uh, as you can see, I've got 25 levels down there, and I believe I need 31 to repair this shovel. Yep, to completely repair this shovel, I need 31. Uh, does it have? Hmm. You know, I should really put unbreaking on that. That's a good shovel. So, what you do is you go over here and you put the uh, this redstone block right in here. And then you watch. Turn on F3. See these guys are falling here. And uh, up here, watch the entity count right there. When that gets to 80, because that's just about the max number you're going to get. You'll get more, of course, but um, if it tops out about 80, they start really slowing down then. So when it gets to 80, I'll kill them all, and we'll I'll get a few levels, and we'll see if I can't repair my shovel. So 83. You notice they've stopped falling. That's why I go to 80, and I always remove that before I kill them because I've left it in here before and it lagged the server. So I don't want to do that. I just go in here and I just beat them with my piece of meat here. And uh, they don't, they, they've got only half a heart of life left, so they're pretty easy to kill. Um, all of their pearls go down into these hoppers so that they, they get collected down there somewhere. That used to be one of the reasons I came here, because their pearls just fell on the ground. And um, I needed... No, I use them to get around, especially in the nether. Uh, but that's okay. I can always get more if I need them. I'm sure I could buy them from them. I got plenty of them. Uh, okay. Very good. Get something to eat here. Now, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to repair the shovel. Uh, when I got here, there was no anvil here. Uh, somebody broke this one. And I always keep one in my ender chest. So I just put, put a new one down. The least I can do for him letting me use the farm anyway. Here we go. Alright, 31 levels. Let's see here. That's unrepairable. It's too powerful. Watch. Drop that in there. I'm too expensive. <laughs> uh, that doesn't need to be repaired right now. Neither does that. I have some of my armor could probably be repaired. I know this can't be repaired. This can't be repaired. I'm pretty sure. That helmet is awesome. Well, maybe it can. Let me go over here and get some diamonds. <clears throat> here we go. Put this helmet in there. Too expensive. See? And... Too expensive. So, I guess the first thing I need to do is how about I go over here and I craft a helmet and whoa! <laughs> there we go. And a chest plate. And we'll go over here, and I'll get some more levels. And I don't like to do cuts in my videos. It's such a pain in the rear end doing it with Linux, because of the way I have to record. I think I've told you before. I have to record a video stream here that's picking up video and game audio, and then a separate audio stream over here that's picking up just my voice and the ambient sounds around me, and I have to mix those two together to get a full audio stream, a stereo audio stream, so, eh. 
Okay, let's put this back. This can get kind of boring, so you may just want to skip the next few minutes. But, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, enchant these two new items here with a level 30 enchant. And then I'll add stuff to it later. Uh, yeah, we just stand here now. It doesn't take long for fit for uh, 80 of these things to build up, so they they build up pretty quickly. See, we're already at 60 over there now. Uh, let's see, 70, 76, 78, 81. There we go. That's funny how, how when you reach 80, it, uh, 80 entities here. That's pretty much it. You you get very few more after that. Um, I don't know. That's obviously got to be some kind of limitation of the game itself. But I've certainly seen a lot more than 80 entities in one spot at one time. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why it turns out to be 80. But whatever. If you look down at the bottom, we've got different uh, different chats down there. That one says, uh, ooh, at some Pound Serenity Games. That's an IRC channel. I'm going to have to check into that because I haven't been able to log in IRC for a while. I could log in, but it wasn't linked to the ch uh, the game chat. So, we'll see. Oh, come here, XP. Quit bopping around over there. That's interesting. You know what I'm going to do? Just for a minute, I'm going to pop over here, and I'm going to check out, let's see, applications, and let's go down to XChat. While that's building up, we're going to, no, no, I don't want to do that. Go away, go away. Now then. Let's join Serenity MC. No such channel. I must already be in there. I don't, I don't remember that logging in like that before. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that later. What do I have? Oh, look. 84 entities. Let's see here now. Ah. <laughs> Don't you just love those Java stuck keys? Ah, come on. Oh, in case any of you were wondering, because this doesn't look very manly, let's take a look at this desktop. You probably saw this background earlier. Yeah, that's my wife. She <laughs> she put that on there, not me. So there you go. Just because there are pretty heart flowers on my screen doesn't mean I'm not manly. It's a family computer. I don't have control over it all the time. Whoa, let's get out of here. These guys, you look at them, they'll hurt you. Especially with only half my armor on. Come on, level 30. Please make it. Please make it. Really? There we go. Ha! Huh. Okay, so. Let's go down here. We're going to put a level 30 on this chest plate. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Chest plate. Fire pro Ooh, thorns too. I think I have a Thorns 2 book at home, which would be great because I can make that Thorns 3. I think this one has Thorns 2. It does. And I know I have an Unbreaking 3. Uh, I wish I had put Unbreaking 3 on that, but oh well. I'm not even going to do that yet. <clears throat> hey, let's go back to the house. I'm going to go home for just a minute. You guys don't mind. I am going to go up here. 
and wait for the lag to catch up. Sharpness, looting, fire aspect. I think this is all weapon stuff here, so let's go to the next one. Oh! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Aqua Affinity, Fortune, Feather Falling. Okay, so Aqua Affinity it is. Yeah, I'm going to need that unbreaking. I'm going to need that unbreaking. Uh, fire Protection. I know I have another Thorns book here somewhere. Okay, that's a weapon. Really? I don't? Well, I gave... Uh, you remember, you've seen my friend, uh, Fmata, or Fmata, however you want to say it. The boy that I did a, uh, uh co-op with a couple weeks ago. He, I told him he could take whatever he wanted out here as long as he left me one. Which is fine, uh, I don't mind that at all. I, I guess he didn't notice that he was taking my only one, or if, I'm not even sure he took it. Anybody can just walk in here and take this stuff. Uh, let's see, Aqua Affinity, Feather Falling, All right, I'm going to take this book with me just in case, and we're going to go to Home Enderman, oops, there we go, there's a little lag, uh, and I think it's intentional that when you, excuse me a sec, when you teleport, Especially from between worlds, there's a little lag there. Uh, you can't place blocks. You can't do anything. You can't even open your own chest. And uh, I think that's intentional. It gives you because just, I guess maybe to reduce lag, it makes you wait a second before you can do anything. It's like a cooldown. Oh, speaking of cooldowns, I got. Uh, eh, let's let these guys do their things. I bought a new perk. And I will here I will use this this block right here. Nobody will mind if I use it for just a minute anyway. There we go. Ha! I'm a redstone head man. <laughs> so you can just you take it off like that. I mean, you can't you can't put it on, but you Yeah. Anybody who's ever played with the hat command, I can wear just about anything as a hat. I could use I could get mob disguise too if I wanted to uh spend the sixteen or is it no, it's forty diamond blocks to buy the perk. And I really don't want to do that. It's not worth it. It would be cool. I could just go to somebody's house and spy on them. But I don't want to do that. That's okay. <laughs> That's just totally not necessary. Okay. That should be enough to put unbreaking. Good. Oh, I hate that juddering. All right, we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna put unbreaking three and aqua affinity on. Wait, we'll put unbreaking three on here. Oh wow, cost thirteen. Okay, well, we'll go back over here and take care of these guys, and then we'll do it. <clears throat> Give me that XP. Thank you. All right. I know this is a boring video, but I haven't po posted anything in a while, and, oh, you know what, I mentioned something on Reddit the other day, I was just po uh, looking through the, the new stuff, the, the slash new, slash r slash new, and mentioned something that, um, in a discussion that was going on there, and it made me think, my, maybe some people here might be interested in hearing this because we do have uh, a, a younger audience here in places. Uh, we have members here who are pretty young, as you've seen. And uh, I got a little advice for anybody who is in school still, junior high, high school, even elementary school. Okay, let's put that on. About bullies, okay? I was never a bully. Um, I was never a mean child. Anybody who knows me would tell you that. I mean, I have no way to verify it, but you, and so you just have to take my word for it. But, 
<clears throat> bullying is unless you've experienced it you don't know just how bad it is uh, it, a continuing thing day after day somebody hitting you beating you up uh, constantly pushing you around I mean I was big for my age uh, right now I'm 41 years old be 42 in September actually I'm six foot one and I weigh about 190 195 pounds which is about a hundred pounds less than I used to weigh <laughs> but I was a big kid for my age so the the older kids thought it was a good idea to beat up on me because you know I was their size but not nearly as experienced or mature or maybe more mature depending on how you think about it but and I'm not gonna name any names here this is just people that I knew generally about sixth grade uh, fifth sixth grade here in East Texas I'm not gonna say what school it's a tiny little school nobody's ever heard of anyway but I had several people several guys in particular who just beat the crap out of me on a regular basis we would play basketball games Ow. we would go to basketball games uh, and in the locker room we would be warming up doing push-ups and sit-ups and things they would stand on my back uh, bounce up and down while I'm doing push-ups uh, they did not realize that they were making me stronger when they did this but I almost did something very stupid one time and I hope it never comes to this for anybody who is in the position of being bullied please don't ever do something like this because I almost ruined my life and at the age of what 11 years old uh, I did something really stupid and I was very lucky that I had a friend on the bus with me who was a who was willing to um, stop me because after a couple of years of being constantly bullied day after day you know and having just having bad things done to me I decided I had had enough and so we had left a basketball tournament at a place an uh, hour or so from my home and these guys they did it again uh, you know they, they they just wouldn't leave me alone and I had had enough um, I'm not I had tried going to my parents my parents went to the school the school wouldn't do anything about it they said well that's just boys being boys uh, nobody's really being hurt well here's the thing when the school doesn't do anything about it and nobody does anything about it sometimes the the person being bullied decides to do something about it uh, I was raised by people who teach you you take care of yourself especially if nobody else will uh, you're ultimately responsible for your own well-being so I took that into my own hands and I took I had a pocket knife at home and this thing was extremely sharp uh, it, it was the sharpest knife I've ever owned and I, you know and I kept it that way folding uh, ranger type knife through a three blade knife pocket knife I slipped it in my pocket which was not an unusual thing for kids at that that time we're talking early mid 80s and uh, at this school high school kids were carrying shotguns to, to school in their truck you know in the back window and nobody said a word about it because it wasn't against the law uh, it is now However, let's get back to the story. Um, to the point of don't bully people just because they seem to be weak, because maybe they're just willing to put up with it uh, for the the sake of peace. But you bully people, it may turn around and come back and bite you in the end. Oh, that's very very nice. Look at that. Blast protection, respiration 3, and aqua affinity. Wow. That's definitely going to get an unbreaking. Okay, so, bullying. 
don't bully people because if if you come across somebody like me you may be you may get hurt uh i took this knife that i took to, to the basketball tournament uh anticipating that this was going to happen <clears throat> so we're on the bus the school bus the yellow bus we're on the way home from this basketball game and these guys they had really poured it on during uh, the after uh, uh, after the game in the locker room. Everybody's showering, which, by the way, I don't think they really. I don't even know if they do that anymore. You had 20 guys naked in a room showering together. Just <laughs> uh, I've heard that they don't do that in school anymore. But they had really poured it on. They had, they had hurt me, uh, and not just emotionally. They had hurt me physically, which is not that that was not even unusual. That happened all the time. So, my point here is, I pull this knife on the bus. It's dark. Um, I probably would have would have gotten away with this if the blade hadn't been so shiny. Uh, <clears throat> just, I pull this knife. I open the blade, and I was going for the guy's throat. He was two two seats in front of me on the bus. And uh, here I am, 11 years old. I've got a very sharp knife in my hand. If I had gotten him with that knife, he would be a dead man right now. He would have died at the age of 13. And it would have been my fault. Fortunately, a friend of mine saw me with the knife in my hand. Uh, I was going for him. I was going to get him. Just the same way you would go and get something in this game with this diamond sword right here. I was going to kill him. I planned on killing him. That's what I wanted to do. That's how, that is how far bullying can push people. Um, don't ever do something like that. I'm, I'm glad that somebody took that knife from me. I, I, I thank God every day. And you can make fun of me all you want or whatever for believing in God, but Somebody took that knife away. I don't know who it was. Somebody there near me on the bus. Um, I did not stab the kid. I was going for his neck. I was going to stab it into his neck. Edge, edge forward and push the knife away from me. I had it all planned out. Um, but somebody took it. They held me down took my knife. The next day they gave it back to me. Uh, by then, I had calmed down and decided what was going to happen. I went to the school. I went to my parents. <clears throat> told them what happened. Excuse me, I need to call. I told them what happened. And uh, they actually sympathized with me. You know, that, you know, you, they told me I shouldn't have done that. And I got in trouble. Um... But I didn't really get any punishment out more than a good talking to out of it. Um, but they went to the school, and I told them what happened, and they wanted to they wanted to get me in trouble, which I mean they could have. But they, the, I think, when I that we told them that story, what happened, the story that I just told you. I think they got the idea that they needed to do something about it. Because if they weren't, I was going to do something about it. Uh, so and that's the story of me coming very close to killing another child a couple years older, <clears throat> a couple years older than me when I was, uh, you know, 11 years old. I think I'm going to get out of here. Don't ever, if you're if you're an adult, which I really don't expect people of that old to be watching my videos, <clears throat> seriously. But if you are, uh, listen to your kids. Listen to them when they have concerns over being bullied. Pretty sure that can never be repaired again. <laughs> Yep. Because bad things can happen. Truly bad things can happen. Things that can ruin the lives of uh, you 
as the parent of a child who might do something like that, uh, don't ignore it. Take it seriously. And if you are a child or a someone who's in school or whatever, and in that situation, tell somebody. Go to your school counselor. Go to your parents. If your parents won't listen to you, go to the police. Tell them, look, this has happened to me and nobody will help me. Nobody will do anything about it. And I can't do anything about it. Somebody will eventually take you seriously. And that's what you want. You want... You want that. You, you want people to listen to you. You don't want to take things into your own hands because if you do, it'll ruin your life. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about that. Oh, what have I, what have I got here? Right. <clears throat> well, we're going to go home and we're ceremonially going to, ceremonially going to throw these into the lava. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, must be night timer. Day, getting daytime out there. What do we got? Oh, it's just now becoming night time. Die. Heh. Okay. So, let's go down here. In this chest right here, you'll see there's a chest underneath it. There's an, a hopper. Well, there's a dropper underneath that hopper hooked up, and you'll hear it click. It's hooked up to some redstone. When I toss these in, it'll, you'll hear it click, and it's actually fi the ho hopper is actually pointing downwards, firing into lava. So it's burning that stuff. So we'll hear it click, click, yeah. So we just burn those in lava. But I have nice armor now. Really? Uh, did I look? Unbreaking. 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 I should really put unbreaking on those too, shouldn't I? <clears throat> Let's see here. I should have another unbreaking book up here. Fortune. Let's put this aqua affinity right here. Uh, there should be uh, breaking one. Do I not have an unbreaking three book? Oh man! I guess I used both of them. Um, well, that's okay. It's no big deal. I can always get another one eventually. <clears throat> now you get unbreaking one and two, and you can combine those. Uh, let's see, I'm breaking two right there. Huh. Okay. But yeah, about the the bullying thing. Just don't go, don't get crazy because people can get hurt and lives can be ruined. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, with that, now that you know that I was very nearly a murderer one time when I was a child. Uh, yeah, that something I, I haven't told anybody, I think, in a very long time. I mentioned it on Reddit, but that's pretty anonymous, you know. Um, as far as people knowing who I am, people that hear, they can find out who I am. I'll tell them, you know. <clears throat> At this point, it's okay. Nothing happened. There, there, there wouldn't, even if it, there was, sort of, uh, even if anybody did care to prosecute me, they couldn't because there's, it's been too long. Uh, anyway, so. I guess that's going to be it for the day. And all I did was grind levels. That's hmm. kind of boring, I guess. That's why I had to tell a good story. Hopefully it was a good story. Um, so maybe I guess we'll see you next time.
uh, back to work this week. My job has me working uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and I'm going to be doing that through November. Hopefully, I'll try to get a video recorded maybe every Sunday, hopefully. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we'll try. So, I guess I will see you later, and yep, next time. Bye.